Hey folks, so we're going to be printing and assembling the Nivu 3D Wiggle Lens. You want to print with supports on, so it's important that you have your supports dialed in uh, for whatever slicer that you have. For the most part, the STLs should be printed facing down to reduce the need for supports on critical interfacing faces, like you see in the Cura previews here. It's important for fitment and proper registration so that the lens locking mechanism moves freely. So these are the tools you'll need uh, to clean up the supports and also to assemble the lens. You'll need a good set of needle nose pliers, an X-Acto knife, uh, and some kind of tweezers. I like to use a dull straight blade razor to clean up any stringing and any zits that pop up uh, on the print. A Phillips head screwdriver. An awl, or just something pointy and straight that can get into you know areas that you can't reach with your your knife a straight chisel uh, it's not needed but it's a great tool for removing and cleaning up supports the one I have is from power carve uh, a lighter for cleaning up stringing and lastly some SW92 SA lube for moving parts this is what I usually use for uh, hilo coils and uh, I think people use them for keycaps If you want to skip the support cleanup, jump to about 6 minutes 2 seconds, otherwise stick with me and I'll walk you through how I clean up the parts. Starting with the lens body, I just grab the supports with some pliers or with the snip tools supplied with your 3D printer. Once the majority of the supports are removed, I run through with a straight chisel and clean out the remaining supports. Then I'll do a quick once over with the lighter to make cleaning off the supports easier. Then it's over to the dull straight razor to clean up any zits or stringing in the interior so the lens baffle will fit snugly. I finish up by cleaning out the lip that the lenses will sit on with a razor and a straight chisel. Next up is the lens baffle. I'll do it once over with the lighter because this part is particularly stringy. Then it's just using the straight chisel and the straight razor to clean the interior of the baffles. You may want to run your awl through the aperture to make sure it's circular and clear. You'll want to test the baffle to make sure it fits snugly. You don't want a loose fit. Next up we have the lens ring, pretty much the same deal here, lighter, straight razor, and we're finished.
the mount flange is pretty quick. Just run your awl through the supports on the flange and then clean up with the straight razor. Finally, the lens mount cap. I just run the razor through the interior until it's smooth, uh, and I clear the screw holes with an awl. Moving on to assembly, drop in the three Kodak Funsaver lenses and choose the baffle you want to use. In this case, I chose Lens Baffle 2. We need to place a thin film of lube on the outside of the lens body and around the lens baffle to help parts interfacing move smoothly. Then you'll install the lens ring after applying lube on the interior of the ring. The chevron on the lens ring should be pointing northwest or west when you install it. Next, install the mount flange. You can't install this part incorrectly because one of the alignment feet is longer than the others. Finally, align the chevron on the mount cap to the lens ring and fasten the mount cap with three M1.6 by 6 millimeter machine screws. And that's it, you're done though. You can test it on your camera to make sure it fits and you can take pictures correctly. Um, other than that, if you want to add some sort of flocking, you can do so to help cut down on reflections and reduce contrast. What I use for flocking is typically um, adhesive backed suede or something that's a matte fabric that's adhesive backed, something that absorbs light pretty well.
if you need help with the front and rear lens cap, uh, you can watch on without narration. I don't even know if I needed to do the narration for this. It's pretty straightforward, um, but I figured it might help those who need uh, help printing this correctly. Um, let me know how it goes for you, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks.